Hey, all my pineapple-loving friends out there, do you know how to cut a pineapple? Because I, for a long time, did it. And the sticker on the pineapple isn't that very helpful sometimes either. I don't know if you guys could see that clearly. So you end up buying the chopped up fruit that's probably double price if you just bought a pineapple yourself and cut it. So when selecting your pineapple at the store, most times they sell it green. So you will need to wait several days, maybe four or five for it to ripen. So keep it in your pantry or somewhere on your countertop until it ripens and you can see some um, yellow color coming along on the pineapple. So that way when you cut it open, the pineapple will be ripe and it won't be hard and bitter. So to start the chopping, grab a cutting board and a nice chef knife. And we'll start by cutting off the top of the pineapple and the bottom. And then cut it down the middle. And we'll cut it in fours. Once you got your pineapple into fours, cut it in half again, and then we'll end up with eight pieces. So once you got your pineapple into eight pieces, we're gonna start by cutting off the core, which is the hard part of the pineapple. As you can see, the pineapple I have, I kinda let it get a bit too ripe, but it is still good. It'll be perfect for smoothies. So I'll cut this up and stick it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it and use it for my smoothies. And now we'll go ahead and cut off the back part pieces. Now that we got our cut up pineapple chunks and they're clean, now we're gonna chop them up into little bits and stick it in a freezer bag. our Ziploc bag of pineapple chunks. So go ahead and eat them fresh for the next couple days or stick them in the freezer and use them for smoothies. Enjoy!